So if your goal is to build up your shoulders with calisthenics, then this is the video for you. So stay tuned and let's go through the exercises. The first exercise we're gonna get into is the high plank. This is an isometric movement and it's gonna to help to build up the strength and muscular endurance in your shoulders. Key here, make sure your body position is correct. Don't let your hips sag, push through your shoulders and make sure that contraction is working all the way through. Once you've mastered that, you can move on to shoulder taps. But remember to keep that core centered. Don't let your hips sag to one side while performing the shoulder taps and keep a good rhythm. This again is going to help tax your shoulders and help you move into more advanced movements like the pike push-up hold. Great again for muscular endurance in the shoulders. Remember the body position is again key here. Once you've mastered this for a good couple of seconds and reps, then you can move into the full pike push-up. You wanna make sure the form is correct on the pike push-up. It's not just an up-down movement, it's more of a forward movement, so you put more stress on the shoulders. You're gonna see in the next clip how you're supposed to move forward, not just up and down, and you can see the stress that I'm placing on the shoulders that's gonna help them to grow and develop. That once you've mastered the normal pack push-up, you can elevate your feet, and this adds more weight to the movement. Next, you have wall handstands. If you can't do a full handstand yet, which I'm sure most beginners can't, then you can work on wall handstands, which is gonna help build into that full handstand. Next, we've got the Sado planche hold. This is, again, gonna put a lot of stress on the shoulders. It's an isometric movement, but it's gonna help to build up that muscular endurance in your shoulders. Once you've mastered that, you can then move into the Sado planche push-up. Remember to keep leaning forward to maintain that stress on the shoulders. Make sure the core is tucked and the back is protracted. Form is everything with these if you really want to grow those shoulders. So don't cheat out, don't skip reps, and make sure you're working as hard as you possibly can on every single rep. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm out, peace.